Okay, so I've started out, um, I've already put on my foundation, which is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. Um, I've put Shape Tape and the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal under my eyes, and I've used the P. Louise base all over my eyelid and under my eyes as well, because we're going to be doing um, stuff sort of everywhere. And I've lightly powdered my face with the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Powder, the Matte and Paul as well. Okay, this here is the picture that I'm going off of. Um, I'll leave the picture and the Instagram all linked down below. This is uh, Kellogg's Sloop's Instagram. They're a really amazing artists, so I definitely recommend checking them out. This is quite an old painting that they've done. It's from quite a long time ago. It's from 2015, but I really liked it and I really wanted to recreate it. It's been one of my favourites for a long time, so yeah. I think I'm going to start off with the blue, first of all, which is like a really sort of light turquoise blue. I'm going to be going in with my Tyran. Um, professional makeup like aqua colour set. I'm going to do some mixing. You can just activate these with water. I'm going to do some mixing and I'm just going to start using um, a sort of turquoise shade to start plotting out the shape. Okay, so to create this drip, I've just taken some water and I'm just sort of letting it drip down my face, I guess. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm sort of laying down some colour. And I'm taking my Real Technique sponge and I'm just sort of using that to sort of sheer it out and make it look sort of like, you know, a watercolour. And it's okay if you blend it a little bit too far because it's going to look different on a face as it does in a picture. So, yeah. I'm now just taking the blue and mixing it in with my turquoise colour. And I'm just sort of, the certain areas of it are a little bit darker on this side. So I'm just going to add those sort of darker spots in and then I'm just going to go and use the same technique to sort of blend them out with. And there are some sort of like little dots which you can start adding in just with the corner of the brush but I'm going to probably go back and do them like all together later so don't worry about it too much because um, you can do that later on. Okay, I'm going to sort of leave that side to dry now. Um, and this side's got sort of a slightly darker effect to it. And it's sort of got like a splatter up the top of like the forehead area. So I'm going to probably leave that till later because that's going to be kind of difficult to do. And there's just like a sort of like a shading of blue sort of on the cheek. So I'm going to start off with that just using the sponge. And then I'm going to go back in my paint and start creating the shape um, of the blue along this side of my face here. Okay, I'm now sort of trying to create the splatter effect. Obviously, this is going to be quite hard to do because you can't literally do like a splat on your face. But I'm just taking the brush and I'm doing some sort of thinner lines and some thicker lines, some a little bit darker. And I'm also going to go back in with this um, thinner brush, um, load up with water and just do a couple there. I'll probably be using this brush mostly for the dots later as well. And again, it's not going to look exactly the same as the picture, but this is like an inspired look. So... Um, feel free to just do whatever sort of works for your face shape. You can bring it further on the forehead if you want, but I'm trying to sort of keep it above the brow and sort of like roughly where it is in the picture. And the thing with the drips is you want to try and round the edge off so it looks like an actual splat and not just like lines, you know. I'm going to sort of mix a sort of really, really dark blue colour now because there's some real darkness here and I want to lay that on so then we can start with the red. Okay, so I've removed a bit of the colour off this side because it was starting to look like a little bit too much. Um, I'm still not really happy with this area here because it's, it's almost like a double sort of like teardrop effect, which is quite hard to sort of do. 
Um, so I'm just sort of just wiped a little bit off as you've just seen. And what I'm going to do is instead I'm just going to do a thicker line here and then a slightly darker thinner line just next to it so you get that sort of effect of like two different tones but without it being you know too much because I was just going to end up with it looking a little bit messy and I'm just going to round off the edges here to make it sort of look like more of a drip because that's what was kind of getting a bit lost um, we're going to move on to the red now sort of let this dry for a little bit because I don't want to sort of overwork it um, so the red sort of mostly under the eyes and it's sort of like a freckle sort of thing if I'm looking down it's because I'm looking at my picture um, yeah so it's sort of like underneath the eyes then you've got like red lips and freckles and stuff so I'm going to go ahead and start like plotting in some of the shapes and yeah I'm just going to use red with like, probably a bit of, little bit of yellow for that so I've just altered this again a little bit more, um, I really wasn't happy with it so I've just changed it up a bit and now we're going to go in with the red, I'm just going to use a flat paintbrush to do this. Now on the nose, the sort of like pink colour is really sheer, or like the red colour is really sheer. Um, so I'm just going to use a sponge to do that. Um, I've got uh, another sponge here, this is just like the Eco Tools one. And I'm first just going to sort of blend the edges of this. And then you'll get like a little bit of excess on the sponge. And then I'm just going to use that excess because you want a really, really light colour here. I'm just going to use a bit of that to sort of start building up the sort of pink colour across the top of the nose. And we'll do freckles later and I think I might use a liquid lipstick to do that um, just so they really shop against the pink um, but yeah this is just mostly across the top of the nose and there's a few freckles sort of like further down but again we'll get to those later now to really get that watercolour effect you want to let some of the colour dry a little bit and then really pack up your brush and when there's a darker spot just really sort of like tap it on and sort of pack on the colour really thick so that will die, it will die, <laughs> it will dry darker, it will die darker um, and that will create the sort of watercolour effect because watercolours tend to sort of dry unevenly that's what makes them quite like interesting so yeah you can do that in any areas where you think would look good sort of like follow a reference picture and um, there is a bit of like red on the inner corners of the eyes but I'm going to use a shadow to do that in just a second I'm just going to let this dry for a little bit first Okay, so I'm just going to quickly line the upper and lower waterline with this uh, Maybelline Master Drama Eye Curl. Okay, so I've just put on that black liner and sort of smudged a bit of it over the lid. Now I'm going to my Juvia's Place Sahara palette and I'm going to be using this red shade here to so coat it and maybe dipping into a little bit of Jamila just to sort of like darken up any areas and I'm just going to be mostly doing my eye look with this. I cannot talk today. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing the eye look which is just sort of like red on the inner and outer corners. I'm going to darken up any areas that need to be a bit brighter so I'm just going to use this little brush and go ahead and do that. And I was taking that same shadow on this Real Techniques, um, the name is rubbed off, I think it's the Deluxe Crease Brush, 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 cannot talk. I'm just sort of dabbing um, some of that colour onto the nose just to make it like a little bit um, dark on there and it's going to look like a nice sort of like diffused colour as well. I'm just going to use some sort of like circular motions and sort of buff it in. Um, I'm going to probably just go ahead and pop on some mascara quickly and I'll come back and we'll start working on the freckles and then we'll do the sort of finishing touches. Okay, I've just put on some of the um, uh, L'Oreal or maybe I can't remember which one it is now, the Baby Roll Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and start doing sort of the like speckles and the freckles now. I'm looking at mostly all of them are red except for a couple. So I'm going to do the blue ones quickly and I'm going to sort of dot between using like a small brush. I might try um, using like an eyebrow brush, you know, to just do something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do the blue ones and then I'll come back and do the red and I'll probably use, yeah, like I said, I'll probably use a liquid lipstick for that. I'm just quickly darkening this bit up because I realised that um, the colour of it got a little bit 
Lost in there. Um, I think I've done mostly all of the blue dots now, so I'm probably going to move on to the red ones. And I've got this liquid lipstick, which is the LA Splash um, Till Midnight Lip Couture, and I'm probably going to use this little brush and just do some dots and some freckles. There's quite a few of them. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this off because this is like waterproof. Wish me luck. So there's the dots done, it really does change up the look a lot, um, I really like the way that it sort of turned out. It's really hard to do and make them look sort of even. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the lips which is sort of just like uh, a red lip and it's got sort of shading and some highlights to it. So I'm going to use the same liquid lipstick, uh, white and black liner to sort of um, create a bit of shadow and depth. Okay, so we are done with this look. Um, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Um, this bit got a little messy. It's quite hard to sort of do like a watercolour on your face. But I'm quite pleased with this side. And that looks pretty cool. And the freckles are really fun. And this is just really different for me. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one. Let me know if you've got any sort of like artists who you think could be good inspiration for me. So just let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a sort of face paint body paint um, makeup look inspired by Kellogg Sloops on Instagram this is the sort of picture that um, I've sort of gone off of I'll link it down below this is quite an old photograph but uh, yeah it's like one of my favorites I've loved it for ages and I really wanted to recreate it on my face um, I'm feeling sort of I really like this look I just wish I could walk around like this all the time because it's totally fun and crazy and colorful um, I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's go ahead and get into it